What is going on, all you wonderful a plusers out there? It is I, Stuart, here once again to give you guys another Common Rider Saber review. This time, we're going to be talking about episode number 46 as the uh, big battle continues to heat up even more and things start to get a lot more intense. This was another very, very action heavy episode. So, because of that, there's not really too much to say in, in terms of story, but uh, I'll definitely break down what I can in the episode and give you my final thoughts in the end. So, with that all being said, Said, let's get this episode review started starting with our opening scene which you know I'm not gonna lie kind of made me laugh and uh also kind of gave me a little bit of relief because there had been a meme going on this whole time where it was uh, Toma facing Storios and Storios basically just knocking Toma down like it's nothing and then the cut was it would show the ending credits right after that. I thought that was legit because that's what I saw on Twitter before I saw the episode. Uh, thankfully that is not the case that was just the cold open so yeah basically Storios is really really powerful and as Toma tries to charge at him uh, Storios just kind of blasts him down with like an energy wave uh causing Tolman to get knocked down I, I don't remember if I had another photo I do yeah so of a, of a Storio so um this whole scene basically is kind of Storios giving like the villain monologue to Toma the entire time very similar to uh you know the Emperor in uh, Return of the Jedi uh, that kind of a thing so if you've seen Re Return of the Jedi, you know exactly what I'm talking about. It it's kind of a mixture, like, I, it, it kind of feels in some ways like he's trying to win Toma over, uh, but I, I don't quite think that that's the case. I really just think he's trying to make Toma feel weak as he continues to tell him how pointless he is in this entire, uh, in the entire uh, grand scheme of things. So, he talks about how uh, stories are always pre-written, like, what we do and everything is pre-written, and this all comes from stories. Storio says he's trying to tell Toma no matter what Toma does, it's pointless because he's already won. It's already been written in stone. So no matter what Toma does, even everything that Toma's done on his journey to get to this point has all been written in stone. And uh, one one other aspect about this that I thought was kind of, I, I thought was kind of silly, but I actually didn't mind it too much is that apparently these stones that that he's referring to, these uh, prophecies, are very, very specific and detailed because he was mentioning his backstory and how he used to be uh, very similar to Toma, except for he wasn't a novelist, he was a poet. Uh, and the, the point that broke him as a poet was finding out that these uh, prophecies are just so detailed that even his poems were already included in the prophecy. And it was kind of that question of, you know, so even my own original thoughts aren't like, are, are pre-written. Like someone has pre-written me to already have these original thoughts. And, you know, I feel like that was kind of silly at that point where when you're referring to prophecies that go that detailed over everything but uh at the same time i it does make sense though why that would be the thing that would break someone like storios especially when you're super passionate about something and you think you're the one that's come up with it and then you know i i, I don't i i mean obviously we're never going to have like a real world equivalent to that but I can't imagine that would be something you would want to hear about. Uh, hear, you wouldn't want to hear as a writer. Like me personally, if I were to find out that all my stories had already been written from some other being before me, uh, I'd be a little bit disappointed myself. Like I don't think I'd turn to the dark side like Storios has, but I, I would definitely be disappointed regardless. Uh, so we cut back to the other writers as they continue to battle, um, you know, I completely forgot what those, uh, things were called, but basically the henchmen that were introduced in the, uh, uh, not not the previous episode, but the episode before that, and uh, the the battles continue to stay intense because if you guys remember, these four were able to take down the entire team of common riders. So now we have two common riders fighting each one of them one at a time, and it's not an easy battle as we see for Ogami here. Uh, you know, he almost gets himself killed during this uh, during this fight, but he's luckily saved very last minutes uh, very last minutes by Daishi and the two of them. You know, I, I do love seeing them 
work together. I think that the two of them have some really good on-screen chemistry that we've seen throughout the series, um, especially with the two of them kind of being the first ones to go back to Toma. And what I absolutely love about this ending here uh, of this fight is that it definitely reminded me in a lot of ways of uh, Dragon Ball Z, uh, the way you got Ogami holding one of the uh, henchmen back and, uh, you know, not necessarily in a full Nelson position, but definitely in a position where Ogami is like directly behind him as he tells Daichi to just go uh, go for the shot. So he does. And uh, thankfully, though, the shot doesn't actually uh, penetrate the monster, so it doesn't like actually hit Ogami too badly. Uh, obviously, Ogami gets kind of caught in the explosion, but it's really more like it's implied that he's knocked out, but it's nothing like serious. Like we're, we're definitely going to see more of him in the next episode, thankfully. So he's not he's not dead or anything like that. It was definitely a really epic fight, and uh, you know it's followed up by another one with the two siblings as they're taking down their own. Um, I I did like that it was it ended up being Rika who ended up finishing him off, uh, but it was definitely a really satisfying uh, battle regardless. And and again, it's so cool seeing our heroes really be being pushed to their limits to the point where even after they win they they can barely stand uh although i do have to point out kind of something that i've pointed out a couple of times i think when talking about the show i i, I still get jamie and cersei lannister vibes with these two I, I don't mean to be gross i'm sorry but that's just how they come off and it's just it, it's weird sometimes uh especially during this scene where they're both trying to like uh grab each other's hands before they both pass out i uh, just i don't know i thought it was really bizarre personally uh, but then we cut to uh, May, who, uh, as we saw in the previous episode, had uh, originally caught up with Luna. And uh, Luna, of course, much like most people who are connected to both worlds, is, of course, starting to disappear along with May herself. But May is really determined to uh, follow through with her plan that was introduced in the previous episode. Uh, and she, uh, you know, rather, rather than allowing Luna to kind of like stop her from going through with her plan, she actually just tries to motivate Luna basically trying to get Luna to go back onto her feet which I thought was really cool because Luna has always been like you know especially because she still probably has like the mentality of a child I'm not quite sure how that works yet if she's still technically a child at heart like in a literal sense uh, but you know she's definitely been a more kind of gentle character who definitely isn't one to really push herself to any limits or anything like that she's really just been kind of there to drive the story forward so it is cool seeing her actually be motivated to actually kind of push herself and by May of all people because you know even though she's not a common writer she has always shown herself to be useful to the team when she needs to be and so seeing her being the one to motivate Luna to get it back on her feet and run to Toma so she can see him one last time uh you know I thought it was a really really awesome scene and uh you know I thought the payoff uh for what uh, May's actual plan is going to be was a bit weird but I'll get to that when I come to it uh, but first, we got to talk about that fight with Storios and Toma because after all this villainous monologue that goes on with with Storios, we eventually do see him transform back into his interesting Storios common writer form, and he and Toma go on a battle that honestly really well choreographed and I thought for sure this time that Toma might actually be able to take him down on his own maybe not completely like I I kind of figured this wasn't going to be the final battle but I but it, it definitely came off like uh like Toma actually could hold his own and go toe to toe with him but unfortunately this doesn't last too long everybody because we 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 do cut back to May as we do get to see what her plan was and what we see what we see her doing is that she's uh officially like trying to publish uh, Toma's novel which is currently been written on pen but hasn't been uh, typed into a computer yet uh, also probably hasn't been edited so maybe we'll see her make some changes to the story some creative uh, changes as an editor is allowed to do uh, but uh, with that, with that all being said, uh, I'm I am curious if uh, you know what she's going to be doing is typing up the entire book and passing it to people. I, I don't really know fully what the extent of her plan is. I just know that part one of her plan is going to be to type up the novel. Uh, hopefully, they don't just kind of South Park it and go, okay, phase one, we type the novel. Phase two, 
something phase three we saved the day <laughs> you know that the, uh if, if you guys have seen the underpants known episode of south park you know what i'm talking about but yeah it, it basically I, i'm not quite sure wh how what uh how this is going to help but uh, i am very curious to see what it does lead to for sure uh but then we do cut to the final uh battle or the final shot of the battle between storios and toma and unfortunately toma gets dehensioned right before falling into what seems like a bottomless pit uh now i i feel like we've seen uh like some abilities for common riders that allowed them to temp uh, temporarily float in this show so maybe we're gonna see something like that like right before he hits the ground he's able to henshin and then like find his way out of here uh before he actually hits the ground but who knows definitely who knows plus i feel like if he's henshined he actually might be able to survive the fall regardless but i could be wrong about that uh, but regardless, everyone, this was another fantastic episode. Very, very action-packed. And in terms of character development, you don't really get much, but you don't really need any at this point. It's, a, it's near the end of the series, so I feel like every character has basically fully developed at this point. I'd say the only real exception would be for Luna, because again, with Luna, she was ready to kind of give up once uh, things got really tough for her. So having May being there to... Uh, to like kind of motivate her to get back on her feet. I thought that was a really cool moment. So it was definitely a character growth for her, but as for everyone else, uh, more or less the same for them. But again, it's because we're at the end of the series, so we don't really need any more character growth from people. I feel like everyone has kind of uh, fully developed at this point. Uh, but yeah, guys, overall, I thought this was another really fun episode, very action packed. So, you know, if you want to, if you want to watch it and you want to try to introduce your friends to Common Rider and show them what type of a show they're getting into maybe this would be an interesting episode to start with who knows who knows but guys of course at the end of the day these are just my a plus opinions we here at a plus opinions always want to know what you guys think so definitely let me know what you guys thought of the episode in the comments below be sure to hit that like button subscribe to our channel but guys above all don't forget to keep it a plus i'll talk to you all next week